Okay, we're going to look at how to graph parabolas in vertex form. Um, first of all, before we graph any parabolas and, and all these different um, shifts and stuff, we're going to look at the basic standard um, y equals x squared. That's the basis for all your parabolas. Now, if you want, you could make a table of values for this. Um, and it's good to just kind of have a table of values memorized, I guess, for this one. But you could create it really quick anyway. Um, if we choose some x values, some nice one to use, nice ones to use for x squared is um, negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. So if I plug those in to the x, if I take negative two and put it in for x, I would have negative two squared, negative two times negative two, which is positive four, and negative one squared is negative one times negative one, or one. Zero squared is obviously zero. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. So then I could take those points and plot them on my graph. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the point 2, 4. So your graph's going to look something like this. Okay, there's your parabola. This spot, this point right down here is called your vertex. You don't necessarily need to label that, but that's what it's called. Um, and that's an important spot because when I'm graphing parabolas in vertex form, there's something about the equations that lets me see where this vertex is going to be pretty easily. If I look over here at the equation to the right, x minus 2 quantity squared plus 2, um, I can tell where that vertex is going to be based on the numbers in in these places. Okay, some people write this as y equals x minus h squared plus k. So the vertex would be at the point h k. If you notice, there's a minus sign here. So there's got to be a minus sign here for your h to be two. Okay, if there was a plus sign here then you'd have to have the opposite of 2 for your h. So when I'm going to grab my vertex from looking at this, I'm going to say my vertex is at 2, 2, both positive. Okay, So I'm going to look at my graph. I'm going to go 2, 2, and I'm going to put a point there. Okay, That's my vertex. My parabola is going to look like x squared over here. So it's going to look like this graph in this spot. If I could grab this, I could slide this and put it right there, and that would be the exact same graph that I'd be talking about. So how do I do that? Well, I just use this table of values right here, pretending that this spot is the origin. So that's my 0, 0. So 1, 1, 2, 4. That's that's these two points right here. Now what about these top ones? From this spot, negative 1, 1. From this spot, negative 2, 4. And then I've got enough points on here to go ahead and graph my parabola. And it looks like this. Okay, And there's, there's the graph of x minus 2 squared plus 2. Okay, let's look at a couple different ones that maybe have some of the, some different aspects to them that are also in vertex form. Um, on this one, uh, you kind of look at this and look at that. It looks a little different. Um, there's another way I could write this one so it would be in the same form. I could say, hey, this is like x minus 0 squared minus 3. Okay, and if that helps you, go ahead and do that. My vertex would then be 0, negative 3. I can find that on my graph. I plot the point 0, negative 3. Okay, and just like the last problem, I would graph the x squared graph from this spot. So I would go to the right 1, up 1, to the right 2, up 4, and minus 1, up 1, minus 2, up 4. And I could sketch my parabola through those points. And that's not a great one, but it'll work. 
Okay, so that's another one like that. Um, if we go over here to the right, we see another one's a little different. This one, you notice it doesn't have anything over here after the x squared, so it would be like having plus zero. So my vertex for this one, I'm looking here, and see how it says plus two? I need a minus. So in fact, I could actually write this like x minus negative two squared plus zero if I wanted to, if that would help me see that my vertex is at this value negative two zero. So now I can plot that on my graph. I'm gonna go to the point negative two zero, plot that, and now I would graph my parabola where I go to the left one, up one, to or to the right one, up one, but I look at this and I notice there's a minus sign here and all that means is the exact same parabola except for I'm gonna have this thing flipped upside down. So when I go to the right one and I normally would go up one, I'm gonna go down one. And when I go to the left one, normally I would go up one, but I'm gonna go down one. And when I go to the right two, I'm gonna go down four instead of up four. And when I go to the left two, I'm gonna go down four instead of up four. And then I can sketch my, my parabola in here. So it's the exact same thing, shifted to this, this vertex point um, to, to negative two, zero, based on what's in my equation. And this negative sign in front here tells me that my problem is going to open down instead of up. Okay, what if I have 2x squared? Okay, Basically, I'm going to look at 2x squared. The reason I'm even going to look at this one is so I can figure out what to do with this equation over here with that 2 in that spot. So let's take a look at this one. What we're going to want to do is make a table of values for this. So let's go negative 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, if we plug these in, we've already done this. Negative 2 squared um, is 4, but then I have to multiply it by 2, so I actually get 8. And negative 1 squared, we did that, that's 1, but times 2 is 2. 0 squared is 0, times 2 is still 0. 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2. And you can kind of see the pattern here. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. So I would go ahead and plot those points. Um, let's go negative 2, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 1, 2, 0, 0. 1, 2, and 2, 8. This is kind of hard to graph, uh, to draw a line nicely through these kind of do the best you can and get something like that. So that's what 2x squared looks like. So basically it made the graph skinnier. So when we come over here we're gonna actually be shifting instead of shifting x squared we're actually shifting this graph right here. Alright so where are we shifting it to? Well it's vertex form so it's the same kind of deal here. Um, this is like minus negative 1 so we're at negative 1 and we have minus 6 here, so minus 6. Our vertex is at minus 1, minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's our vertex. We're going to actually take this graph right here and oops, shift that right to that spot. So if I could do that, that would be my answer. Okay. But I want to actually draw it on here. So the way I'm going to do that is by taking the values here and treating this 0, 0 like it's this vertex spot. So when I do the point 1, 2, I'm going to the right one, up 2, and I'm plotting that point there. I'm going 2, up 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's this point. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the left for the other two. I'm going to get that point and that point. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and sketch in my parabola should look like that. And that's how you graph parabolas in vertex form.